Hi everyone, Teresa here with iBrand Your Business. Today I'm covering Canva.com with this tutorial. Canva.com is an awesome site for creating graphics, especially for social media posts because they already have precise canvases for posts as well as page and profile headers. In addition, you're also given many freebies to help you get started with your design. Today we are going to be creating a Twitter header for you to place on your Twitter profile. The nice thing about a Twitter header is that it typically fits nicely as a Facebook cover photo as well. Before we get started on the header, let me give you a quick tour of Canva and show you around a little bit. Let's get started. First go to canva.com and create a free account if you haven't already done so. Be sure to check your email to confirm your account. I've already created my account so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Canva is jam-packed with tutorials to help you get started. When you first create your profile, you'll see a guide asking you if you want to do the quick tutorial. If you click on show me how it's done, it'll show you a very quick tutorial on adding graphics, text, how to download, etc. Feel free to browse around and check out the various tutorials available from Canva. When you have a specific question about Canva, you can search for your answer at support.canva.com. You can even find a design school which is full of tutorials and other goodies. You can find the link to the design school in the toolbar at the top of the page once you have signed in, or you can find it at designsschool.canva.com. Here we are inside of the home page. This blank area is reserved for all your many awesome designs, which Canva saves for you. If you are new to Canva, this area will be blank since you have yet to create any designs. In the Create Design section, click More and check out the many designs you can create from events, blogging, marketing materials, and most importantly, social media posts. Here is a really cool feature. Canva gives you the correct dimensions for Facebook ads, so no more trying to cut to size graphics when creating an ad on Facebook. Well, as I mentioned before, we're going to create a header for Twitter, so go ahead and scroll to the social media posts section and click on Twitter header. Canva will automatically generate the template that's sized specifically for that header. You'll see the famous notorious Twitter egg. This area is reserved for your profile thumbnail. Here on the left side, you'll see plenty of designs to help you get started. These layouts are already sized to fit the template. Some of them are free, they are marked with a free icon, and some have a dollar sign, which at the moment you'll need to pay a dollar for each graphic or image you decide to purchase. Let me show you how easy it is to use the graphics that are available to you on Canva. I'll show you in a little bit how to use your own custom graphics, for example, if you want to upload your own background and logo. All right, click on a design you like, I'm going to choose this one. You'll see that Canva will load the design to the template. The text and the background are separated. These are called layers or overlays in the world of graphic design. This makes it easy and simple for you to alter the text and the image as you would like. I find it easier in Canva when selecting a layer. Click on the white outside of the graphic here first before selecting the next layer you want to select. Okay, moving on. I'm not going to use this text field, so to remove it, you'll click on the field and select the little trash icon in the control panel. To edit the text, highlight the text and start typing what you would like as your text. For example, your company name. You can even change the font to something that looks better. You can even change the color of the font to something else. If you don't like any of these colors, click on the plus sign. Here you get a color wheel, and if you know the six digit color code you want or have for this graphic, you can enter it here. Push enter when done. If you want to alter the look of the font, click on this down arrow to change the style, caption, text spacing, alignment, etc. You can also change the transparency in this section. If you don't want any text at all, Click on the text box and select the little trash icon to completely remove the text. If you make a mistake and want to undo it, click the undo button here in the header. 
Canva will create a default name for your design. You can change the name here by clicking on the default name and name it as you like. Click Done. If you want to add more text, click on the text button to add more text fields. Here is one more cool feature of Canva. You can crop your photo and add filters to add effects to your image. Click on the background to select it, find the filter button, select a filter to customize it to your likings, and you can change the brightness and contrast. And in the advanced options section, you can blur the image to really make the text come out from the image. I see this a lot in social media headers. There are a lot of different options to play with. So enjoy it. When you are finished, click away from the filter window to close it. I'm going to select my text and move it down a little bit by clicking on the text and not letting go of my mouse until I've moved it where I want it. Notice there are guides to help you ensure that the text field is centered. The last part I want to show you here is how to play social media icons to show my fans that I am also on other social media platforms. I'm going to place an Instagram icon, Facebook icon, and a YouTube icon. And guess what? These icons are free on Canva. All right, click search and type Facebook icon in the search bar. Select the icon you like best by clicking on it once and it'll appear on my canvas. Here's a little tip for you before you move and resize the image. Hold down the shift key while you move the icon to where you want it. This usually prevents the image from becoming your background image. Now use the handle to resize the icon. This little handle that's hanging onto its dear life down here is so you can rotate the icon. Hold down your mouse and move your mouse to rotate it. As great as Canva is, it's not perfect. So if you've made the image way too small, it becomes impossible to select it to move it. So use your arrows on your keyboards to move the icon. This is one feature that I love about Canva. You can change the color of the icons. Select the icon. This one will allow you to select the background color and this one will allow you to choose the foreground color. You'll repeat the same process followed for the Facebook icon for the other social media icons. I want you to know that Canva's template is really, really awesome. You can see how Canva displays what the graphic will look like on Twitter, so you know you won't put text or images in these faded sections. If you want to make different versions of this graphic, you can copy it here. To create a new graphic, click Add New Image. If you're working on the graphic and you consider yourself to be as blind as a bat like I am, you can zoom in and out of the graphic by clicking these two controls here on the lower left. Have you noticed this little button up here on the top right that reads saving? This means Canva is auto saving your work and the changes you have been doing, that's so nice of them. If you want to make this design public to other Canva users, click here on the white circle so the button toggles to public but I don't want to make this public, so I'll make it private. Okay, so we are done with this graphic and I want to download it. Click download and you have different options here. You can select as an image or high quality PDF, or you can click options if you have multiple designs. You can download all your pages or only the pages you want. I'm going to download this as an image so I can upload it to Twitter. When Canva has completed preparing your design, you can save or open the file to your computer. I'm going to save mine to my desktop for easy access. If this was a social media post, Canva makes it easy for you to share it from here or even email it. I'm not going to select any of these options, so I'm going to just close this window. If you go back to Canva home screen, you'll see the collection of your work. If you decide you absolutely hate this design and want to delete it, hover over the design and click the down arrow to delete it or copy it. Copying the image is good if you don't want to lose your original work, but want to see what it would look like altered. To alter or edit any image, click on the image and get down with your artistic self. So I've showed you how easy it is to use Canva using their graphics, but now let's see how it is to use Canva using our own images. All right, let's move on. 
I'm going to create a Twitter header for my friend Lisa with Waz Marketing. I already have my images separated and prepared to create her header. I'm going to show you how simple this can be. From the Canva home screen, click on the More button and scroll down to the social media section and select the Twitter header template. By the way, I forgot to mention in the previous section that you have many different options for free backgrounds, but for this section, I'm going to add one for my computer. I'm going to click on Upload section. Select Upload Your Own Images button. Navigate to the image from your computer and click Open. Once your image is uploaded to Canva, you'll see it here. Now click the image once and it'll appear on your background. Use the handles to fit your image into the template. Notice here, if your account is connected to Facebook, you can select images from your Facebook profile here. Now I want to add Lisa's logo she provided me, so I'm going to click on the Upload Your Own Images button again, and I'm going to upload her logo. I'm going to click it once, and it will appear on my canvas. I'm going to hold down my Shift key and move it to where I want the logo to be. I want to rotate it a little bit, so I'm going to use my rotation handle to tilt it. I think it's perfect like this, so I don't need to resize it. I'm going to click away to deselect the image. So Lisa absolutely loves the Wizard of Oz. So she asked me to place a sassy business Dorothy onto her Twitter header. I'm going to click on the upload your own images again and follow the same steps as before. And here she is, the sassy little business Dorothy. And I want her to walk on the yellow brick road wearing her incredibly cute ruby red slippers. I'll resize her so she doesn't look like a giant attacking the Emerald City. Oh, I can't forget the famous Oz balloon, so I'll go ahead and add the hot air balloon. I'll follow the same steps to add the balloon. Lastly, I'm going to add some text. Lisa has this nice tagline I'll add here on the right. I'm going to go ahead and click on text. You can choose from the sample text, but I'm going to use the add subtitle text button and alter the font as I'd like, helping you navigate your yellow brick road. Use the handles or select the text box to move and resize. Use the controls to alter the font. I'm gonna choose Sanchez. I'm gonna use the color red and then I'm gonna size it to 24 and you can set the style and the alignment, etc. here. Here is a really neat trick I want to show you. You can place layers behind or in front of another layer. I'm going to move this text over to the balloon and click on the little down arrow and select move to back to place it behind the balloon. I'm not going to leave it there, so I'm gonna put it back. I just wanted to show you that. I'm happy with this design, so before I download it, I'm going to click on the default name and I'll rename it to Waz Marketing Twitter back. Then I'll go ahead and click on done. I'm going to download this as an image. I'm going to save it to my computer. Here, I'll email it to her so she can see it and so she can upload it to her Twitter profile. So here it is on Twitter. Remember at the beginning of the video I said these Twitter backgrounds typically fit nicely into Facebook as well? Well, here you go. Here's Lisa's Facebook page with the same graphic. Very quickly, I want to tell you about the Twitter profile picture. Go back to Canva and under Use Custom Dimensions, you're safe to set your social media profile pictures at 500 by 500 pixels. Enter the dimensions and click Design to create your profile picture. Follow the same steps we used for the background and you've got yourself a social media profile picture. I'll do that here quickly for Lisa. Here is Lisa's profile picture. I'm going to name it Lisa Profile Picture and click Done. I'll download it and send it to Lisa so she can upload it to her social media profiles. And that's it folks. Now you can use Canva and be a rock star and design your own stuff. This should save you all some time and money. Please be sure to subscribe to the iBrand Your Business TV YouTube channel. Have a great day and we'll see you in our next video. Bye now.